in this video lecture we will discuss about linear transformation in linear algebra so let's go with let's go with the definition of linear transformation first so definition so if we consider two vector spaces let v and w be vector spaces of course the dimension can vary the dimension can be different then if you define a function t find b a function whose domain is v and whose range is w find so you are defining a function which you are writing in this way then this function is said to be a linear transformation then t is said to be a linear transformation if it satisfy two condition if the first condition is for all x and y belongs to v if you get that t of x plus y is nothing but t of x plus t of y and the second property is for all x belongs to the v and r belongs to the reals if you have t of rx is nothing but r times dx and the first property is called as additive property that is a t is additive and the second may be called as a homogeneity t is homogeneous fine so this is the property of homogeneous so if this two properties hold then we say that t is a linear transformation ab baat ye hai ki if here we have considered u and v be the vector space over real point because here we choose the r from the real now what about if u and v are the complex vector spaces so i will add a remark here if u and v are complex vector spaces so the definition is will remain the same in that case also except the property b where we have chosen r to be real so here you will choose r from the complex number so it means here you will choose r from a complex clear and the second remark one more remark i want to add up here if dimension of v is equals to dimension of w then such kind of transformation is called a linear operator then t is called a linear operator so basically before discussing the definition i have focused on this thing that the dimension of u and w need not be equal so if they comes out to be equal then we call it as a linear operator now let us discuss few examples and verify the fact that if any given transformation is a linear transformation or not so example 1 if you consider v equals to w so i am considering here the dimension of v is equals to the dimension of w and i have denoted this by e1 fine and i have defined the transformation as t of x is nothing but m of x where m is any real fixed number now i want to show that t is a linear transformation for that i need to show the two properties that t is a homogeneous as well as t is a additive so let us work for additive first and uh, in order to prove the additive property i will consider two elements x and y that are belonging to the set e1 theek hai now t of x plus y what this comes out to be this is nothing but m times x plus y fine which you can write as mx plus my now what is this this is t of x and what is this this is t of y and hence t is additive now let's check for homogeneity so this was the property one now let's check for homogeneity that is t of rx now you have to mention here that r is coming from any real fine and x you are considering from e1 class so sorry no it's not e1 class e1 set so t of rx now what this comes out to be so this is by the definition m times if you are defining t of x this comes out to be m times x so if you are defining here t of rx this will be m times this thing that is m times rx 
fine now now the field is real and all the operations are applicable here so you can associate the elements okay so this you can write as mrx fine with this now what you do is you take out r now just interchange this so all these operations can be applied here so r times mx now what is this this is nothing but t of x fine so both these properties hold so this implies that t is homogeneous now if both the properties hold it means t is a linear transformation and hence t is a linear transformation now let's go for the second example so again in this also i am considering v equals to w and let i denote this by e1 now for this we have defined the transformation as f of x equals to mx plus b fine and in this case also in this case also m and b they are any real numbers and we are also given that b is non zero now i have to check whether this is a linear transformation or not so if in order to check linear transformation i will just consider the two properties so first property f of x plus y must be equal to f of x plus f of y so that is the first property where x and y they are coming from e1 fine now just apply the definition of f of x plus y this will be what m times x plus y plus b now just solve this mx plus my plus b now solve this side right hand side so what is the value of f of x mx plus b what is the value of f of y m y plus b so this comes out to be mx plus my plus 2b now here it is very important to note that we are already given in the question that b is non zero if b was zero now if b was zero this term would have been cancelled out and this term would have been cancelled out and in that case you would have got this transformation as a linear transformation but already in the question it is mentioned that b is a non zero so this implies if b is non zero it means 2b is also non zero so this condition does not get satisfied so if one condition is not getting satisfied we will say that the t is a not linear transformation So in example third, I have taken v to be p n and w to be p n minus one. So this is a class of polynomials, v to be p n and w to be p n minus one, which which are the polynomials. And I define a transformation from v to w as a differentiation transformation. Okay. Now I have to check that whether this transformation is a linear transformation or not. But from calculus, we know that we have a result in calculus that f plus g. derivative is equals to f derivative plus g derivative and the second result which holds in a calculus is if you are taking r times f derivative this comes out to be r times f dash so you can clearly using these two result using them you can easily prove that t is a linear transformation so i will be writing lt here okay so it is a linear transformation in this case now moving on to the fourth example let us see what is the fourth example similarly if you have a transformation from v to w okay now what is v here v is any real valued continuous function on ab so this is a cab okay class of all the continuous functions okay and w be any set let it be e1 now if i define a transformation from v to w which is which is defined by t of f is nothing but the integral of f of x dx from a finite limits a and b now again you will be using the properties of a uh, integration in the integration we have studied the fact in calculus we have we are known this that if you have a integration from a to b fx plus gx times the dx this comes out to be a to b fx dx plus a to b gx dx and the second property in calculus also we have studied that if you are calculating the integral from a to b r times fx dx so this comes out to be r times integral of fx dx from a to b so using these two properties you can easily verify that this transformation is a linear transformation the example here is if you are defining a transformation from v to w as 
t of a equals to trace of a fine and we need to check where obviously a belongs to the set v and v is a collection of all the matrices okay of order n across n okay so now you you need to check that whether this transformation is a linear or not already we are aware of the properties of trace the trace of a plus b is equals to trace of a plus trace of b and the second property which we are aware of trace of r times a is nothing but r times trace of a so using these two properties you can easily verify that t is a linear transformation similarly moving on to the last example of this video lecture we know that if you define a transformation from a v set to a w set and of course this is a set of matrices and let uh, the order be n cross m okay so this is v and so i have claimed that v is equals to w okay now if i define a transformation t of a that is nothing but a a transpose for every a belonging to the n cross m matrix again again by the linear properties of a transpose of a matrix we know that both the properties one property one and property two will get satisfied and hence t is again a linear transformation in this case